Hello everybody and welcome to learning how to play the piano lesson one. My name is Michael and today I'm going to teach you how to play your first major scale and to just generally know your way around the piano. Every piano varies in size in the, in the keyboard length so I'm going to show you how to find middle C and all the other notes on your specific keyboard and I'm going to teach it to you in the fastest and most efficient way that I know possible so we're going to jump right into the three things that you're going to need to know about your keyboard. So let's get started. I want to start from scratch and right from the beginning. A keyboard will vary in size. This particular keyboard is on the smaller side. Um, the very last key is a C on the bottom and it's a C also on the top. Not all keyboards do that. Some end in a B or an A, same thing on the top. Um, so don't assume that your last key on your keyboard is a C and same thing with the top. We want to know our musical alphabet. And the musical alphabet goes from A to G and then repeats the cycle again. Only to G. So this note on the keyboard is an A. So if I go from A and go all the way to the right, it goes in order. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A again. And then it keeps repeating. B, C, D, and so on. And this is A where we started from. If I go to the left, that's G, F, E, D, C, B, A, and so on. It goes in cycles. Okay, so now that we know the musical alphabet, it's time to show you where and how to find the notes on your own on the piano. Like, how did I know that this was A? Okay, well, to break up the pattern of all the white keys, the black keys up top here have a pattern. They go in twos and threes, twos and threes, all the way up the keyboard and down. Choose any pair of two of the black keys. Go to the left of the first in the pair, the first key that you can hit is C. So if this is a pair of two, go to the first one and immediately to the left, that's C. This happens to be middle C, but in, here's another pair of two, so that this is C. Here's another pair of two, so that's C. And so on. Okay, so now that we know that this is middle C, they call it middle C because it's the most central C of the whole piano. So your job is to find out where middle C is in your keyboard. It's going to vary. So find the most centralized pair of black keys you could find. That's, not, that's kind of too far off. This is middle C. And this is too low. It's too much to the left. That's too much to the right, and so on. So this is middle C. Now let's talk about octave. An octave is comprised of eight tones. The word oct or octo meaning eight, like octopus or octagon, is just, in music, means eight tones. So the eight tones are going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so from C to C, is eight tones. That's an octave. Within this octave, from here to here, is your scale. Okay, so when playing the piano, it's important to know that our fingers get assigned numbers. And how that looks is, for the left hand, it's one, two, three, four, and five finger. And for the right hand, it's one, two, three, four, five, that way. It's actually the same. They're like mirrors of each other. A lot of people think if this goes one, two, three, four, five, that way, then it continues here, five, four, three, two, one. Don't get uh, messed up by that. If you ever have a problem with that, just put your hands on top of each other because they are like a mirror. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so to play a C major scale, we're going to start with our right hand. 
you're going to play and, and, and place your one finger of your right hand on middle C, which is right here. And you're going to go up an octave to this C and then back down. There is a couple of pivoting motions here and I'll, I'll go back slower over it once I do it the first time. So how it goes and how it looks is like this. It's one, two, three, tuck, one, two, three, four, five. On the way down, it's five, four, three, two, one, cross, three, two, one. Where that cross and where that tuck is, is right over here between steps three and four. So, uh, and on the piano, it's notes E and F. Curl your fingers, make sure you don't get the uh, antenna fingers, as I like to call it, because your fingers will get more, uh, increase the dexterity once you practice this a lot. So you're gonna go one, two, three, pivot off of your three finger, okay, and tuck. One, two, three, four, five. On the way down, you're gonna pivot off a of one finger on the F note here. Five, four, three, two, one, cross, three, two, one. So practice this a few times, get, let your fingers get used to it, and then you just start to slowly increase the speed. This fingering is actually what's gonna um, be a lot the majority of, of the uh, scales that you do will always have this combination. The one, two, three, tuck motion between steps three and four. So keep practicing it and eventually you'll get faster and faster with it. Now with the left hand, you're actually gonna do, uh, it's like a mirror image. Everything's the opposite. You're starting down here with your uh, an octave below middle C with your five finger on your left hand. Like this. You're going to work your way up to middle C and then back down. Instead of tucking on the third between uh, the, the third and the fourth note, you're actually going to do it after that. So you're going to go five, four, three, two, one, cross, three, two, one. On the way down, it's one, two, three, tuck, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, same thing, you want to keep your fingers curled. So where I'm doing it again is one, two, three, four, five, like this. And then after the five, you're going to pivot on the thumb, cross. On the way down, you run out of fingers way before that, so you can't do that. You have to go one, two, three, tuck, like that. Same thing, you want to just play it a few times to get used to it. Well guys, there you have it. To wrap everything up, you now know how to play a little bit of the piano, you know your way around the piano, and you know how to play your first scale. So congratulations, The as, as a parting word of advice that I can give you is to practice daily if possible or every other day to lead to um, real mastery of your instrument. Consistency, like many things in many cases, is key. It's no exception with playing an instrument. The piano book that I use to teach uh, all of my students and how I learned is the um, John W. Shawn Piano Course. This is the pre-A book, the green book. It's, it, it starts out really simple and it progresses so nicely. I find it the best to learn and easiest to learn. So I invite you to check this book out. I think it's like 6 or $7 on Amazon. Um, good luck to you and stay tuned for a future um, piano lessons, drum lessons, uh, vocal lessons. Please subscribe to my channel, um, Michael Miglian Music, below, and I hope to see you in the next weekly lesson. Thank you very much.